CBS The Bold and the Beautiful revealed that the Hope for the Future project had suffered a huge loss and brought a lot of loss to the company. Everyone is in a hurry to face the situation. Watching Forrester Creation stock continuously drop in price, no one is impatient. But now is not the time to blame anyone. The company's management has held an emergency meeting. They eventually made the decision to stop some overseas branches like London. At first, they have to focus on reviving the headquarters. Then they can think of these branches later. So he's always worked in London, but now she has to think of a different direction. Since she lost her job, she'll probably return to Los Angeles soon to find a new job. Recalling when Zoe first left Los Angeles, her heart was a mess at the time. Now she was brave enough to face everything. Zoe's a talented model, and she also has quite a lot of work experience. She worked at Forrester Creation for a long time. Until things happened to Zoe, she decided to leave Los Angeles. This time back, will Steffi appoint Zoe to continue working with the company? Zoe and Paris are sisters. Everyone thinks Paris will be happy to see Zoe back, but no. Paris has a lot of complicated thoughts in her mind right now that she's very afraid that Zoe will make Zendi infatuation. The passage of time only makes Zoe more si salty and sharp. She was so beautiful and alluring that Paris was afraid that Zendi would fall in love with her. Paris and Zendi also went through a lot of difficulties to get together. Paris does not want Zoe's appearance to affect their relationship. Isn't Paris happy when Zoe is back at work? Is that the right attitude that Paris should have towards her sister? Elsewhere, Finn and Lee decide to return to Chicago. This was a decision made at a very urgent time because neither Lee nor Finn could have contact Jack. Actually, Lee and Jack's relationship is still very strained, but Lee can't leave Jack. Jack's not the type to get angry, so he must have done something wrong. Lee and Finn were both in Los Angeles, so no one was in Chicago to go check on Jack's situation. Realizing the seriousness of the problem, the two of them took the earliest flight to Chicago. They want to meet Jack quickly and find out what happened to him. Lately, although Finn has been very busy with work and family matters, it's his father, so he has to put all that aside to go to Jack and check on the situation. Will Jack be in any danger or not? Why did he suddenly cut off contact with everyone?